As some of you probably know, I started a cleaning service in my hometown of Toronto in 2006, just three months after Chad and I started dating. And since then, Clean My Space, which is the name of our service company, has been going strong. And over the years, even though I've written a book about cleaning and I make videos about cleaning, I've got a lot of information about how to hire a cleaning service. And every now and then, you might want to bring somebody in just to supplement the work that you're doing, obviously depending on your budget, or you might be looking to hire someone on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis. So in this video, in response to a lot of your questions, I figured that I would put together tips for you on how to hire the right cleaning service. I've got lots of experience in this industry, so let me share those tips with you now. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, give this video a thumbs up if you want to visit the city of Toronto at some point in your life. When you're looking to bring somebody into your home, what I recommend is always starting by asking for referrals from friends and family. In fact, oftentimes I'll just put something up on Facebook when I'm looking for a referral. Now the reason this is so important is because a company can really write anything it wants on its website. So they might sound amazing, but are they actually amazing? That's what your friends and family are gonna tell you. So go to them as your first point of reference. Take review websites with a grain of salt. You know, happy people tend to not go on these websites and put up reviews. They really, they might be happy, but they don't really feel compelled to do it. But upset people, oh my God, do they have a voice and they need to be heard. And oftentimes people who are really angry, they wanna just go online and vent, they wanna be heard. Sometimes they legitimately wanna ruin the company's reputation. So just be mindful when you're looking at a company's review, if they have a pretty decent score, but a few bad apples, that's pretty normal. If the company has all bad reviews, that's a red flag. The other thing to look out for, and guys, this one might surprise you, is a company that has all perfect reviews. That is just not realistic. And in fact, there's a company or two that I know of who are competitors of ours, who actually give their clients money to put up reviews. So you can imagine there's a bit of an incentive there for the clients to say something nice, or they'll go around and get reviews in other shady, sketchy ways. And those are the companies that have all perfect tens. So what I like to do, and this is Chad and I's policy on reading reviews, whether it's for restaurants or Amazon or service providers, we kind of ignore all the perfect reviews, we kind of ignore all the bad reviews, and we look at the middle section. One of the reasons why service companies tend to be more expensive than people who just post up an ad on the side of a mailbox or on Craigslist is because actual service companies should provide bonding, insurance, and workers' compensation. And when you're interviewing a company on the phone or reading their FAQ page, they should definitely mention that they offer that. And if they don't, run in the other direction. Now what that offers, bonding, means that if something gets stolen from your home, there's an insurance policy that will give you back whatever was taken or the financial compensation for it. Insurance means that if anything gets broken or damaged in your home, that the company has a policy that can cover that. And finally, workers' compensation means that if someone gets injured at your home, workers' compensation will take over and pay for whatever their recovery expenses are. Now, if you just hire somebody off of a website where they don't have that kind of protection or you just bring someone into your home and pay them cash, none of those assurances are offered to you and in the event that something goes wrong, you're on the hook. I always like to know how long a company has been in business for and also if they have any professional affiliations or if they've been accredited. So for example, we've been in business since 2006 and we're accredited by the Better Business Bureau. And the way that the Better Business Bureau works is they look at how long you've been in business and how many complaints have been registered under your business, and then they assign you a rating. So anyone can go onto the Better Business Bureau website, they can check out my company or anyone's company, frankly, as long as they're part of the Better Business Bureau, and get that accreditation rating. And that's really important because credibility is huge, especially when you're letting someone into your home with all your stuff. 
The other reason why it's important to know how long a company's been in business for is because it allows them to have time to establish themselves and work out kinks. And sometimes there are terrible companies, and this actually happened, I know a couple companies in Toronto like this, terrible reputation. All they do is close down and open up under a new name, but it's the same owners, the same management, and the same business structure with the same terrible service. So really understanding how long that company's been established for, and if they have any accreditations or professional affiliations, can really benefit you as a consumer. I also think it's important to find out if the cleaning service company provides their own cleaning products and tools, or if they want you to provide your own cleaning products and tools. Now, while it might seem more convenient for the company to provide the cleaning products and tools, as far as I'm concerned, I want to have control. And if you guys know anything about me and have learned anything from the Clean My Space channel, you know that having the right products and tools is half the battle and you know your space. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that let's say a company supplies their own stuff. Well, how do you know that a mop that was used in house A wasn't cleaned before it was used in house B? Think about a toilet bowl brush. Think about a sponge. I don't know. For me, that gives me the heebie-jeebie. So at my company, we require our clients to provide their own cleaning supplies and tools. We sell starter kits and we also give them a shopping list so that everybody knows what they need. And we'll also talk them through their space, their particular requirements, and we find out, okay, what are your finishes and what do you need so we can make sure you're properly outfitted. And that way, our clients know that their stuff is only being used in their house. Is the company that you're contacting an actual service provider or are they kind of one of those sharing economy websites? So a service provider tends to have a consistent roster of employees that they'll send out on a regular basis and one of those sharing economy websites, well, pretty much anyone can put their information up on there and get themselves a job. So when we interview, part of our process is doing background checks, police checks, and of course, reference checks. So we know who we're bringing in, but when you're just hiring someone off of, let's say an economy or a sharing economy, an economy website, a sharing economy website, or if you're just hiring somebody off of a Craigslist or something like that, you don't know who they are. And remember, they're coming into your home where all of your valuable, important things are. And if something goes missing, what's your recourse? You wanna know who's coming in how trustworthy and reliable they are, and what you can do in the event that there's a problem. I have so much more to say on this topic, but I didn't want to put it all in the video because I don't want to talk your ear off, but I've got a link to a blog post. I'll put that for you down below up on cleanmyspace.com so you can check out a few more of my tips. And I really hope that these have helped you. And I just want to tell you guys, we are about to hit 11 years in business at Clean My Space in Toronto. And if you want to learn more about the company, you can visit cleanmyspace.ca. And of course, if you want to apply for a job as a cleaning specialist, you can go on that website and apply as well. You know, it's really funny. Now we get a lot of applicants and they know who I am. So when they come into the office, they get really excited and it's really cute. So yeah, I'd love to meet you guys if you are looking for a job and you're in the Toronto area, but that's not why I made this video. I just thought I would throw that in there. This week's comment question is, what other questions do you have about hiring a cleaning service company or a cleaner in general? Let me know and I'll do my best to scour the, co scour the comments. That's one of my little cleaning jokes in there and give you guys as many answers as I possibly can or update the blog or whatever it is that I can do. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you wanna check out that blog post, it's available at cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.